We talk of when the sun wiped the crust from its eyes one Wednesday, years before England had declared to cease defiling your country of its integrity. Destination unknown, vomit wept from your mouth at 30,000 feet on a BOAC plane. Now you talk of a gift Britain had bestowed. The empire had given Jamaica the church so that beatings cut your skin if recited Bible verses were not the disgust utopia of independence, perfect. Three years after 1962, your souls bruised pavements, 15 years old, slaving to anchor the image of the girl in red, your skin, the quintessence of God's indulgence. England was a mouthful of smoke. A tongue strewn with candent power and Eurocentric privilege. Breath that could pull your mind back to the sounds of women's bellies pouring out their mouths. Men on auction blocks rendered children. It was a place that spat at you. Wounded your patois with mayonnaise laughter. Now your once seasoned accent is unwashed chicken dusted with salt and pepper. British, how much light did they steal from your eyes? Did the grass here taint your hands with the ability to plait hair like the pasture surrounding the house with the 72 steps? In this place, with a mother who left you at six weeks, her love did not rival a hot cup of Milo and condensed milk. Have you forgiven her? You were the wash belly, the only one of ten to be born in a hospital when she had children by a man predisposed to infidelity. You told me of his mistress. The one who served you stew peas and rice with a side of poison. Your father, thank God that you survived his singular affirmation of love. But he, he didn't come for you. Every night after you arrived, when you sat on numb steps, vocal cords dejected. And since then, England has given you children. And your children, diaspora complexes. Your displacement flavors my blood, my speech, my walk. I can't claim Jamaica as a home. Sometimes I claim Britain, but census form options, UKIP and institutionalized racism are PSAs. My presence is tolerated. I have no loyalty to Great Britain. It shredded your identity, hole punched your ambitions. You are still a root severed from Jamaican tree. 50 years later, brain a dustpan full of memories. Your hands sieve soil and you remember how it tasted in Port Antonio. And then you turn to me and say, Nita, all I want to do is go home. Okay.